My first Comic Con. Oh my god, I love this make on your phone. Oh, thank you. Look, I have a little. It's my little grimoire. Oh, oh I love it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I have a snake tattoo, but I can't show you. <laughs> so, how much did you guys know about Vampire Academy before we are on to Vampire Academy? Not much. I personally, for me, I feel like I haven't even heard of the books before I did it. I just really went into it. Um, Seeing the, the sides, the way they were, and the relationships in between Rose and Lissa and Christian and Lissa, and I just kind of did my take on it. And then after that, I realized it was a book series, <laughs> and so I got the book series, you know, read them, I finished the first book in like two days. I was obsessed, and I was like, oh my god, this story of friendship and this this vampire world is so incredible. Like, I'm so happy to be a part of it. I was the same way. It was kind of a general audition, and then afterwards, after booking the show, I. I I read the first book and I was like, okay, now I'm a fan. That's great. Now I get to work on the show and be a fan at the yeah. same time. So yeah, it was, it was the same thing for me. And it was crazy too, because after we booked it, I think we all started really feeling like, oh wait, this is like, this is like a thing. Yeah, like, it's like a real thing. Like it was like, oh, you know, it got released that we got cast. I was like, oh yeah, no big deal. And then soon there was like 50 edits of us with like, <laughs> Dragomir this and uh, you know, Thanks, us Photoshop, like making uh, out yeah. and Photoshop together. And I was like, oh wow. Like these fans like really like love these books, um, so it just feels like a responsibility and a, an honor to be like wow, like we're the ones representing that. Um, a little so, yeah. bit of a motivation too yeah, to yeah. be able to like keep the essence of those characters while portraying them. Yeah. Was there anything really creepy that you're like, no, wait a minute, that's just pushing it too far? <laughs> oh my god, you know what's so funny? We had this scene one time. I wasn't in it, but I heard of the story and it cracked me up. Um, Jen, who plays Alberta, she's absolutely brilliant, and um, she had her first scene with the Stragoy. The Stragoy are like the evil vampires, and our uh, makeup team, which was run by Ana Lozano, amazing as well, they really intricately made them so scary that while we were on set, it was like, okay, action, and she just goes, what? She's like, it's quite scary, isn't it? And then we just like, started crying, laughing, and she couldn't get through it because they were so creepy and scary in person because they had these like black teeth with the fangs and the red bloodshot eyes, and they're swinging at you too, like as they're trying to kill you right, in the show. Um, <laughs> I say the Strigoi were like really scary actually. Yeah. Were you talking about the show or the fan art? Oh, oh, like something creepy of like fan art. Do you, oh my God. do you remember? That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> I was like, I'll let you, I'll let you just fucking go. That was a great story. Um, you remember that fan that we got that was like deep fakes of our face onto the movie, the Vampire oh Academy my movie? God. That wasn't creepy. That was so weird to see like our face rendered onto other people. I was like, how do people do that? Like, that's so crazy. Yeah, or like people would, because obviously in the books she's blonde, people would like Photoshop blonde hair on me, but it just didn't suit me. Oh, and so I was like, I know y'all want me to be blonde so bad, but like, it's, it doesn't look good. Like, so, Andre, I know you've been in a number of big franchises, and this is just another oh, one. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how intimidating is that, and how intimidating is it for both of you to enter such a big world? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's an established world, too, which can be pretty scary. I felt the same way with Star Trek as well. It's like, there's a core fan base, there's established rules to this world, and coming in as like a newcomer can feel a little bit intimidating, but I'll give full props to not only our cast, but our writing team, Julia Margarita as well, because they, they absolutely made us feel so comfortable, and so much like we had a place to be here to play, but also to collaborate as well. So, whatever nerves I had after meeting those two, was just wiped away and after meeting Danielle I was like I'm in good hands same here with meeting him and yeah I mean Julie and Marguerite obviously have done this and they're really great at what they do so I think having that was like a breath of fresh air and they definitely had like a whole vision too so it was just incredible to be along for the ride and, and see it as well like as an actor and be like oh my god that's what this is gonna look like and like oh my god this is the church like that you guys picked out um, they really created a whole world top to bottom which was incredible so how are the teeth? <laughs> um, I didn't get to use teeth too much I, I, but um, I do use them a little bit and they were really interesting the mold was like that gummy disgusting thing like when you make retainers it was that and then um, 
they just molded it into my canines and there was a couple different options, sizes, like sharpness, you know, trying to decide what it would look like. And then ultimately we went with like really sharp options in the end and Julie kind of helped me how to do the bite and how to like tilt it in a way that looks good on camera and everything. Um, and then when we finally got the final teeth, I guess it was a little too sharp and my feeder was like, hey, they're just, just a little less, like, just a little less um, pressure. And I was like, oh my God, am I like puncturing you and you're like bleeding out here? And she's like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, but just a little less. Um, so I definitely learned how to bite properly. Um, so for season two, I will do it better. Um, but <laughs> yeah. And for uh, you? You know what? I, I haven't got a chance to show off my teeth yet. I'm going to play with it. But I will say that the teeth in the show look amazing. So mm. like, people should be excited to see them. So these vampires have special powers. And they have to show that on the screen. What are you guys doing when you're trying to make fires and everything else? How do you visualize it? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the great part about working on the show, too. With, I really wanted to have a little bit of agency over the magic, you know? I didn't want it to be, like, just a set motion or a set thing. So there are scenes where, like, everything that I envisioned out in the scene gets played out in the CGI. Like, I got to play with the fire. I get to throw it up in the air. I get to catch it. I get to do stuff like that. And it was all just allowed by Julian Margaret to play around with. I had a little bit of experience, like you said, with Star Trek and Lock and Key with working with things that weren't actually there, which can be a little bit difficult because you're expecting something to be there in front of you and then you have to pretend like it is when it's not um, but it's it's so much fun like there's no kid who doesn't grow up and doesn't want to be like a superhero shooting abilities and, yeah. uh, there's a dream come true I think of the elements too like we had a whole section of I think Jeff and then like Billy sat us down and showed yeah. us the different moves so we created like moves for each element and um, all this stuff I mean Lissa doesn't really get to play too much with her element mental magic because she's not great at it um, so I guess that's like part of it but he did a great job at really owning like the fire and making us believe that he, he really is so well with fire which is like a whole thing of Christian is that he's so amazing at fire um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, like the whole bowl thing in yeah. the first episode. I mean, I'm not like amazing. a pyromaniac, really. <laughs> yeah. I just really thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, can I, can I take them? So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I didn't realize it until after, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm gonna call Nina. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it worked out. Yeah, it worked out. Maybe I gotta call her. I'll take some tips. You know. <laughs> <laughs>